Hello buddy, welcome back to Field of Glory 2, Paradox Game of Playing versus Active Max Accentures. About to start turn uh, 13. And turn 12 did not really turn out that well for me, if I must say, so there's a chance here that a group can get back in it. Let's see uh, what happened here. I have a few units that can break. And that will uh, that will tick the percentage up. So I think the battle will be decided by who gets to 60 first. Let's see what happened here. Some routing units. We have a melee here that's going to end with a break. Yep. That one I knew about. Takes me to 33. These guys are routing, dispersed. Routing away. More routing. <clears throat> My cavalry is still chasing those guys off the map actually. So they have to return at some point. Inconclusive melee there. Here we have possible break as well. Yep, auto break. So that's two units broken. These guys could also break, but they hold. And he's got plenty of infantry around over here. Inconclusive melee over there. Ah, the help firm, that's too bad. So it's 39.48 now. Auto break there, that takes him to 50. So just need 10 more percent. Inconclusive melee. Okay, let's turn this around. Alright, let's see how how much damage. 39 out of 50. So we still got a slight advantage here. I have cavalry that followed off the map. Hopefully they will get back. Let's see what we have left here on this side. So, enemy cavalry here with the general. And then we have the phalanx unit facing my way. Then I have my thrashens ready. I have archers here. And my uh, javelin men all the way up here. They, they probably need to send these guy guys back as far as I can. Or maybe this way. All right. And here we can attack the enemy cavalry in the side. We also have these guys ready. They are not chasing anybody. So let's uh, let's start by attacking here. What would that be? 96 for a win. Let's do that. Disrupted on impact and fragmented. So there's a chance we can break these guys right now. 30% here and if we charge... These guys cannot charge though. Um, right, I think I'd rather hold these phalanx unit tight with my third of Roy, and then attack them in the um, in the side with either the cavalry here or these guys but I'm pretty much out of infantry over here so they might be needed elsewhere too how much would this be this is a losing battle and these guys are in the way they would probably move out of the way if I charge over here then the pike phalanx can hit me in the back. The best thing is if the pike phalanx can be engaged and then attacked in the side. But these guys are facing the wrong way. I can get them up here and turning. Yeah, so let's do that. So these guys go up here. But they can't turn, unfortunately. No. Okay. 
We can take it back. I don't think we want to take it back. Or do I want to turn them instead? Is that better? They will be here and turn this way. I'm not sure about that. Now let me take it back and then just turn instead. I think that's better. Right, so these guys. Let's bring them over here to the side. The side of these guys. And these guys will finish the attack here. 30% chance for a break. We got the break. Alright. So that takes him to 53 now. Alright. The archers here. I think I should hit the, um, the phalanx. Are they armored? They are protected, yes. And they've got more legionaries coming over there. Maybe we can break these guys. Turn and shoot. Nope. I have to attack here if I want to attack. Yeah, I'd rather not, but uh, it's not really up to me. I could just stay there. And then we have some archers over here as well. Maybe uh, move up and take a shot at these guys. What about these guys? The Cretan archers are down to 176. I'd actually rather shoot at those guys up here. But then uh, there's a chance I can be I can be charged by the legionaries. How much would this be? 2 to 10. No, I'm gonna I'm coming I'm gonna move them up. Oh, I can't move them. That's that's the thing. Okay. What about this? No. Fire. Uh, pretty much nothing we can do here. So up here we are um, in melee, so just got to finish that. That's pretty even. Hope for a good roll. No. This one is a 52. No luck there. Let's see the artillery. Fire there. Seven casualties. There's no immediate chance of breaking anybody. I think we'll fire it in there. Just four casualties. Then over here we have the two cavalry. And it looks like he's uh, like trying to pin down my two cavalry units. The javelin men, they can uh, move in and fire. Then we can move these guys over here. And leave these guys put. I don't think they can charge from there. And if they do, I will just get out of the way. I also have some units down here, but they're still fragmented. They need to, to get some, some uh, morale back. Right. And then we have all these guys. They should probably fire on the Thorakitai. Yeah, so just turn and fire here. And slingers. And then the archers. They can turn and fire, but it's probably better to fire here. So I think that's it actually. So these guys are not gonna move. These guys are not gonna move and these guys are not gonna move. Yeah, I think that's it. So it's 39.53, I need another 7% to uh, get to the victory conditions. 
Not really sure where that's going to come from, though. It's going to be a hard battle all the way to the end. Oh, there's also this one here. Uh, that's pretty much even. But they're going to get hit in the side now in the next turn. And they will also break and run away. What are the chances of getting back here? 10 out of 10. Just don't want them to get hit in the side as well. Yeah, I think we're okay over here. Yeah. Yeah, I could still lose this. Definitely. I mean, these guys are gonna break now, I guess. Yeah, it's 88%. Auto break. So that takes me to 43. Still 10% between us. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. We are going to continue and uh, see what happens in the next episode. episode. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you there. Bye-bye.